Well, in Europe overnight, we were treated to the greatest show on Earth, courtesy of Mount Etna. Have a look at this. The volcano in Sicily lit up the sky with a spectacular eruption. Etna is one of the most active volcanoes in the world, and the reason is, far below the surface, the Earth is broken, where the European geologic plate is grinding against the plate that carries the African continent. And check out uh, some amazing video here of a tornado caught on video. And it's not from Tornado Alley in the Midwest. It's from California. Take a look. The twister touched down yesterday in Tahama County, just south of Redding in Northern California. It brought with it lightning and inch sized hail. The tornado reportedly tore the roof off of one home. There were reports of two other tornadoes, one in Richfield and the other uh, east of uh, Interstate 5 between Corning and Red Bluff. Fortunately, this uh, extreme weather did not cause any injuries. My phone's frozen. Dude, it's I coming told you way. it was a tornado. It's turning this. Look at, do you see it up here? Yeah, that's what I just recorded. It goes all the way up. Fox weather alert now and a deadly winter storm to talk about hitting our nation's heartland. And check out these images. That's the radar now. More than a dozen states now under watches or warnings, and forecasts are saying that a foot of snow could fall in some parts and that tornadoes could form in others. This is mid February now. In Oklahoma, cops say a young man died when his pickup truck spun into oncoming traffic and he was hit by a truck. Meanwhile, a bizarre scene here now in Arizona snow forcing PGA officials. To suspend play of the Accenture Match Play Championship. Some of the golfers say they've never seen that happen before. Sarah, courtesy KSAZ, golf course up towards Scottsdale. Lots of golf courses up there, and they've got snow on that. I can tell you, I'm from Arizona, born and raised. I've never seen snow sticking on the ground in uh, Scottsdale, which is just north Phoenix. 60 million Americans are trying to navigate a record-breaking storm. The snow and the ice and even the explosive force of what experts call thunder snow. And the heartland is taking the hardest hit. Look at Kansas, a highway of motionless cars stretching out to the horizon. ABC's meteorologist Ginger Ah, there it is. That's thunder snow. Ready? Wait for it. Oh, that, that was garbage. There we go. Violent thunderstorms and torrential rains have caused chaos across much of southern Europe. In Italy, the Sicilian city of Catania was turned into a raging river with strong waters carrying away vehicles. Some 50 liters of rain per square meter fell in just half an hour. Hundreds of firefighters were scrambled, but only one person was injured. The situation was worse in Greece, where one woman died and dozens of commuters were trapped in their cars after a torrential downpour swamped the capital, Athens. These pictures from Athens show one woman's desperate bid to escape her car amid rushing floodwaters. One local resident spotted her and climbed onto the car's bonnet to try to pull her out, but it took a second man to pull her to safety. Several hours of torrential rain swept away other parked cars and left many of the city's streets ankle deep in water. Authorities were forced to close deluged underpasses and a central subway station causing delays for commuters. At least 600 people have called the emergency services so far to ask for their home or business to be drained. The fire department says the thunderstorm is one of the worst it's ever seen. And we're going to turn to Lita Olmsted. She's lived near the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore in Michigan for nearly seven years. But the northern Michigan woman says that she's never seen anything like this. Let's show you the pictures. This is what Lita found on her walk one day. Dozens of ice boulders scattered on the water's edge right there on Lake Michigan. So Lita is here this morning to join us via Skype. Thanks so much for joining us. We find this so fascinating. Uh, tell me, describe what you saw there. Um, basically, they were just giant, perfectly round 
balls of ice that were bigger than basketball. Some of them like beach ball size. Have you but ever was, seen anything like this before? No, oh, I've never seen anything like it. And most of the people who have lived here their whole life said they've never seen anything like it either. So it's really cool. Now, did you did you go up and, and touch them? Were they heavy? Did you try to lift them? Yeah, one of the pictures, I'm trying to lift it up, and I can't even budge it at all. It may be frozen, but I'm pretty sure they're probably like 75 pounds. So. Wow. Oh, that's really fascinating. I mean, the pictures are just bizarre, kind of otherworldly. And you said you hadn't seen this before. Did you do any detective work once you saw these? Did you call the local meteorologist? Or A strong earthquake rattled towns north of Tokyo. The quake hit around 4.30 in the afternoon local time. The USGS reported the quake's magnitude at 5.7. Several aftershocks were also felt in the region. The quake's epicenter was in Tuchoji Prefecture, some 80 miles north of the Japanese capital. Almost thankfully, we at least get to talk about the weather, even though it is a massive blizzard churning its way across this country tonight. Watches and warnings are up in several states, many already hard hit, now facing what's shaping up to be another record breaker. punishing blizzard is hitting the country hard right through the heartland. In fact, look at this right behind me this evening. This video comes to us from Texas where authorities are posting it on Facebook as a warning, telling millions of Americans to stay inside. And you can hear it underneath me here. Just listen to it. It's something to see and something to hear tonight. And 20 states now, from the Lone Star State all the way up to Michigan, with storm watches and warnings this evening. So we begin here with ABC Meteorologist Ginger Amarillo had more than a foot and a half of snow, blown by gusts of up to 77 miles per hour. Huge three to five foot drifts covering roads and highways. Schools and businesses were shut down. Texas has called in the National Guard to rescue people stranded on the road. In neighboring Oklahoma, families trapped in their cars, like Bill Thompson, his wife, daughter, and two granddaughters. Now, what are the odds of that? Two big storms in four days. An east coast low is bringing strong winds, heavy rain and rough surf to northern New South Wales. As the system moves towards Sydney, communities that were hit by last month's devastating floods have again been told to expect the worst. Coffs Harbour has shown me just a few minutes ago. Take a look at this. Two people have drowned in heavy flooding in the Australian state of New South Wales. Residents of the northern coastal towns have been ordered to evacuate their houses. And severe rains left more than 16,000 homes without power. Many roads in the region have been closed. Flood warnings are in place for 10 rivers in the area with more rain being predicted. Wanda, part of the surf club roof was peeled off. 
50 people had to be evacuated. We actually had a booking for a wedding up there tonight. One keen swimmer at Manly thought the conditions Good evening. For the second time in a month, communities around the southeast are being hit by floodwaters. As we go to air, a dozen businesses in Gympie have water inside them as that town prepares for its fourth flood peak in a year. Ursula Hager is in Gympie and she joins us now via the internet. And Ursula, just how high... The flood crisis in Queensland has turned to tragedy after a man died in his car when it was swept from the road by floodwaters in Kilcoy, north of Brisbane. Another woman is still missing on the Sunshine Coast as residents in the Lockyer Valley are told to evacuate. Port Hedland residents are on red alert and bracing for 250 kilometre an hour winds as tropical cyclone Rusty bears down on the coast. Rusty is forecast to hit tomorrow as a Category 4 cyclone.